Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. This should be a pretty quick one. I had a friend ask me to uh, write a basic example of using Twilio to send SMS messages using PHP. So I wanted to do it with no uh, frameworks or anything like that, no user spice, none of that kind of stuff. Just a very basic example. For those of you uh, unaware, Twilio, you can send SMS messages for just a fraction of a cent and uh, just a really great way to send out notifications whenever I have a server go down. I have a little script that will text me a message so that I know that um, it's down and stuff like that. So if you don't have a Twilio account, I have a link in the description and I'll put it at the bottom of my example so that you can sign up. I think we each get some credit if you do that. Um, I basically paid $10 once and I'm still using the credit from a couple of years ago. So, uh, you know, it's really cheap, especially for notifications, things like that. Um, so one of the things that makes this thing a bit of a bear is that there were some changes that broke some things with PHP 8.1. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and used Composer to um, install everything. And I've left all the Composer files here. So anytime you want, if you have Composer installed on your system, you can just update it with the command prompt. So for instance, I can type in Composer update and you know update it. Just make sure that everything is on the latest version. That will continue to work even after you use my project. So the goal of this was to make it as simple as possible and uh, what I've done, I've put a functions.php file inside of my example and as soon as you log into uh, Twilio, you can check it out and you can get your SID, your token, and the Twilio phone number that they give you. All that stuff will be really obvious on the dashboard. So as soon as you get into your account, you'll be immediately greeted with your uh, SID, your token, and your phone number. If you don't have a phone number, uh, you can go through the process to get a phone number with this uh, SMS quick start guide. Uh, but you're going to be taking all those numbers and you're going to be putting them into your code. For simplicity's sake, I've uh, gone inside the functions.php file and just put a place for you to stick them here. If you want to use an ENV file, you can do that. If you want to store them in the database, you can do that. But the key is you need your SID, your token, and your Twilio phone number. And then uh, what I did is I wrote a little function here called send SMS. And uh, basically what you'll do is you'll give it a message and the phone number that you want to send to. And then if you want to specify, like you might have multiple uh, from numbers on your Twilio account, you can also specify a phone number. And all this does is goes through here and um, make sure that you have a phone number set and it creates a new client and it makes the actual message and then it's going to send it and capture the response. <laughs> it's real simple now. You know, again, getting it set up may not be uh, easy, but once you get it set up using my uh, example code, you just that's all you have to do. And then I've got a couple of functions here called dump and dump and die, uh, which allow you to just sort of uh, dump the response that you get. Uh, so we're going to go over to the example code that I wrote. And it's extremely simple here. Um, there's no sanitization, there's nothing. It's just an H2 sending a sample SMS. We're looking for a phone number and we're looking for the message inside of a text box and a text area. And we have a submit button. So let me show you how it works. So again, I wanted this to be as simple as possible with uh, as little other cruft to get in the way. So I'm gonna enter my phone number and a message and then we're gonna hit send. All right, so let's give a message. Uh, this is a test from Twilio. And we're going to hit send. And you see that we get a little sec uh, success message here that you could pass to the screen if you want to. And that was my phone beeping that I just got that message. So that is it. Now let me just show you how to get the code and you can be on your way. So I've made a GitHub repo to keep all this code together. And all you have to do is come over here and either clone the repo or hit this code button and hit download zip and you'll get all this code. You can edit your functions.php, put in your credentials, use the index and be off to the races. So, hey, hope this helps somebody. Have a great day.